Stepping Up to the Plate on BCTV is presented by Smoker and & Company and One Source Business Solutions. Welcome back to Stepping Up to the Plate on BCTV. March was a very busy month for the Big Vision Foundation as we started to get ready for our season opener in April. April 7th and 8th is the actual opening weekend at the Big Vision Sports Complex and we're excited because we expect a record-breaking year in 2018. But first, our girls from the Berkshire Bobcats got together this month and had a team building function up in Myerstown where they played games and made t-shirts for their upcoming Marsh Madness fundraiser. And we're proud that our girls and some of our boys from the Berkshire baseball and softball teams helped raise over $70,000 for the Reading and Berks County YMCA's. And that money goes to help kids on scholarships uh, for services provided through the YMCA. The YMCA is one of our nonprofit partners that we love to collaborate with. And uh, we'll also be collaborating with them in April during the Healthy Kids Day and Kite Day event at the complex on April 28th. So the girls made shirts and then later on you'll see them jumping in Blue Marsh to help raise money and uh, it was a very exciting event. Also throughout the month of March our maintenance guys were hard at work getting the complex ready for the upcoming season, um, pulling tarps off, pulling turf blankets off, starting to hang signs, um, putting trash cans out and all that little stuff that when people show up at the complex people think it just happens by magic but we're very fortunate here at the Big Vision Foundation to have some amazingly dedicated maintenance employees who got started back up here in March uh, dealt with some rough some rough weather throughout the month of March and uh, are ready to get this uh, this facility in tip-top shape for our season opener on April 7th and 8th. So you'll see some of the things that our maintenance crew does to help get the, uh, the complex ready. And uh, again, you'll see some clips from Marsh Madness and we'll get to talk to Heather Brady from Do It Local Apps, which is another one of our partners in the community. And uh, you'll see some exciting stuff as we announce our Jenny Finch camp for September 15th and 16th. And uh, we're also rolling out another new program where we'll talk to some gentlemen from the Berks County over 60 softball league. So lots of things going on for Big Vision Foundation in the month of March as we get ready for our 2018 season. So sit back, enjoy the show, and we'll see you on the rebound.
Hauser, president of the Big Vision Foundation, and uh, excited to announce a new program that we have going on out at the uh, Big Vision Sports Complex this summer. And I'm here with uh, Rich and John Stanislaw, who are the founders of the Berks County Senior Softball League, which is an over 60 softball league that will be playing on Tuesday and Thursday mornings out of our complex. So first of all, gentlemen, thanks for joining me today on the show. Thank you. Thanks for having us. So, Rich, I'll start with you. Tell me a little bit about what made you guys want to start the league. What was the reasoning behind it, and um, how are things going in this uh, fledgling season? Well, we um, played last year with a team in Lyons, Pennsylvania, both John and I. And um, we had to play with teams up in Allentown and Easton, and um, there was no teams for seniors in Berks County. And both John and I said, this makes no sense because Berks County is a baseball area. So we said, why don't we form a league? It's also a senior area. Yeah, it's a senior area. <laughs> and let's form a league because we probably can, can do that. And um, so far that's happening. We, it looks like we're gonna have six teams and um, uh, we could have more. And, and all the players are 60 years old yes. or above. Yes, it's both men and women and um, you have to be 60 within this year. Uh, we are just trying to decide whether or not to allow one 59-year-old on each team. Okay. And system. right. Yeah. So you guys are brothers. So um, you played together last year yes. up at Lions. Yeah. Um, so which one of you guys is doing most of the work right now, getting this thing organized? It's definitely me. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> I, I would say so, it's both of us. No, okay. It's a shared effort. Yeah, it is. What uh, what's the for anybody out there listening who wants to get involved and, and play? I know you got a couple dates coming up um, for you know people to come out and like I said, we don't want to really call it a tryout, but um, kind of get out there and throw it around a little bit. So we give some of our, our uh, viewers uh, important dates, uh, website information, and uh, that sort of stuff that they can reach out to you guys. Well, April 3rd is the next meeting. We're actually having a meeting at Schwarzwald Lutheran Church. It's at 250 Church Lane in Jacksonwald, PA. Uh, it's right up, it's on Ole Turnpike Road, right up from 562, which is the Boyertown Pike. Uh, we're having that meeting at 10 in the morning or 11 in the morning. Actually, the 10 o'clock meeting is basically sold out. So uh, it's an 11 o'clock meeting that uh, we're, we're trying to recruit some more people for. Uh, we will discuss the details of the, uh, the league and we will uh, register and also there's an insurance waiver that you have to sign. Uh, and we're looking for a practice uh, April 17th and April 19th. Uh, hopefully the 17th will be here at Big Vision and the uh, 19th will be up at Lions so we'll get to see uh, some people at both of those uh, venues. Awesome. Gotcha. Um, and what, what made you guys reach out to us to use our complex for, for this new league? Well, you have a beautiful complex. Thank you. And it's, um, it's something we know that by playing there, it's going to recruit more people. I mean, it has what I call a wow appeal, especially the, the one field where you had that green monster yeah, up there. Field. Wagner Field. Uh, it's, it's just the best in the area. It just is. You, know, the, you do a good job of uh, putting together ball fields. <laughs> We appreciate that. And again, for us, we're excited because, you know, anytime we can find, you know, some activity to generate out there, you know, during the day on a Tuesday or Thursday is, is a big win for us. So I just want to let our viewers know that, um, you know, our concession stand will be open, um, you know, so obviously we want to encourage fans to come out as well and, uh, you know, watch you guys play. Um, if we do have the six teams like it's looking like, there'll be uh, two games going on at 10 a.m. and then a single game going on in the next time slot, which I guess would be 1230 or? 12 o'clock, 1230. 12 o'clock, yeah. OK. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I definitely encourage fans to come out uh, to the complex, which is 1098 County Welfare Road, and uh, see you know these guys out there throwing around and you know still uh, still being kids. Um, any last things you guys want to add uh, uh, for our viewers? Website, uh, it's uh, BerkSeniorSoftball.com. Um, uh, com. And uh, if you go on there, you can uh, look to see the, the, the rules and the safety uh, issues that we have em employed to be able to make sure everyone's safe. And, um, and then you also can ask us questions on the website. But it's a good, a good site to find out more information. 
Awesome. And I don't remember, did we give a phone number at all yet? If, uh, if not, it doesn't hurt to give it again, I guess. Okay. It's uh, two phone numbers. Um, area code 610-777-6004. And then area code 610-507-5869. You can call either number. Okay, awesome. Well, guys, thanks for joining me. You got something else? One last thing. Uh, there are some financial uh, considerations for everyone. There's a, a $40 uh, entrance fee to, to the league, and there's some uh, fees as, as there's a $3 uh, per game day per doubleheader uh, that uh, you need to be uh, aware of and, and take into consideration. That's still cheaper than golfing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And cheaper it's cheaper than bowling. Than bowling. <laughs> Perfect. That, Perfect. All right. Well, again, guys, thanks for joining me. We're looking forward to uh, having you guys out there this summer. I'm excited to see you guys out there playing a little bit. And uh, like I said, check out their website. And, uh, you know, if you're interested in signing up, get, get a hold of them. And uh, if not, certainly come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. Season starts uh, when again? May 8th. May 8th. May 8th. All right. Game to practice on April 17th. All right. Great. So check them out. And uh, thanks for having them. Yeah. Thanks, Dave. It's my passion, it's my love, and the game has given me so much opportunity and has taught me life lessons that I hold near and dear to me today and helped build and shape and create who I am. And um, so it's, it's truly an honor and a gift to be able to get on the playing field and share, share this game with others and hopefully inspire them on their journey and just hopefully be able to relate and just be a little boost of encouragement and help grow their love for the game. And you are an awesome host. Um, you know, you feel right at home and just what a beautiful facility. There, this country is gorgeous out here in Pennsylvania. Um, just the rolling hills and the fields, it's bar none. Just a beautiful, beautiful complex and, you know, we're blessed to be able to bring the softballers and their families out here. We had 10 states represented here this weekend and um, we couldn't have been more thankful for just a great place to perform and to be able to get on the field and share our love and passion for the game. And we're so thankful for Big Vision Foundation and the complex here for opening their, their doors to us and allowing us to come here for two years in a row. That's right, softballers. Olympic gold medalist Jenny Finch will be returning to the Big Vision Sports Complex on September 15th and 16th, 2018. Don't miss this great opportunity to train and learn from softball's best. Jenny Finch coming to the Big Vision Sports Complex September 15th and 16th, 2018. Register today at JennyFinch.com. Hi everyone, this is Missy from Big Vision and welcome back. We are out here today at Blue Marsh for Marsh Madness and it's a plunge for the kids where we raise money for the YMCA. So we are actually going to join some of our girls here. We have some of the BBF Bobcats out here, the Berkshire Bobcats. So we're going to go interview them a little bit, see uh, how they're feeling right before the plunge. Come on, let's go. Uh, ladies, how's it going? Good. Good, good. So, what's the countdown now? About five minutes, right? Woo, two minutes. Two minutes. All right, so give me some thoughts. How are we feeling? Scared. Oh, I'm cold. Oh, I'm cold. Oh. Want to get it over with. Yeah, I feel you. Um, you guys are so much more brave than I would because I would not be jumping in there right now. I'm out here nice and bundled up, so that's awesome. So, what are we doing here? What's the theme? We have some... Clovers, what are we doing? Anything special? Yeah, matching, yeah, matching shirts. shirts. Yeah. Matching shirts? All right, let's get let's get them out. Let's get them out for everyone. All right. Nice. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone is out here and they are ready to get this over with, but it's gonna be for a great cause. I can't wait to see this happen. It's gonna be awesome. Oh my goodness. We'll get Dan in here. Let's get Dan in here. Look at this get up. His nice little tutu. <laughs> Matt, oh yeah. Coach Matt looking good. Yes, he is. Bobcats, did you do that? Do you do that yourself? No, I did not. The girls did this for me. Yeah. It's very uh, exciting today, so we'll see what happens. So we're like T minus eight minutes and counting or eight something. Eight minutes? No, 
15, it's 10:59, Dan. Holy cow! Oh. Holy cow! Good luck, right, everybody. Call us up there. Sports Complex. We are just about 10 days away from our opening day for 2018. Very excited. Out here right now with one of our newest partners, Heather Brady from the Do It Local app. And uh, we are very excited about this because this is a, a uh, value add that we're going to be able to provide to people coming into the complex to uh, take advantage of some awesome local deals. So Heather, uh, tell us a little bit just about the Do It Local app, where the concept came from, and uh, what our visitors are going to be able to take advantage of through that app this year. Absolutely. So basically our app, for those of you that don't know, it's an app full of deals to locally owned favorites throughout the county. So when we have how many visitors come into town? 120,000. 120,000 visitors come here for the leagues every weekend. Um, we want to send them to the locally owned businesses throughout the county, have them really experience the taste of Berks and figure out the really cool places, unique places that we have here. And there's so many by giving them a membership through the Big Vision Foundation as thank you for coming to town. Thank you for being a part of the tournament and enjoy everything Berks has to offer while they're here simply through an app. So we're really excited. And, and we are as well. Um, again, we're all about really creating a, an experience for the uh, players and their families when they come out here to the complex. And we think this is something that's really going to be able to showcase that and, again, showcase our local area, uh, which is very important to us. Um, you know, one of the things that, you know, like Heather said, we want our visitors to come in here and go to places that they're only going to be able to go to in Berks County. We don't want to send them to a chain restaurant and all that sort of stuff. And those places are great. I go to them myself. Um, but there's really nothing like supporting local entrepreneurs. I think it's part of what we need to do as a community. We're all in this together. And if we can drive people in there, um, you know, by what we're doing with Do It Local, I think that adds to everything we're trying to accomplish as, a, as an organization. Um, so, Heather, if you can just Talk a little bit more about um, why you started uh, Do It Local in the first place, because I personally love the story, and I think our, our viewers should uh, have an opportunity to hear it themselves. Awesome. Well, basically, I started the mobile app to connect local charities like Big Vision Foundation to the local entrepreneurs in the area to give them a medium to cross-promote 
um, calls market work together really easily in the palm of people's hands. So as a user, you can easily know the businesses in the area who care about the charities and want to work together. I always say it's locals helping locals. So coming from corporate advertising, I know the value of providing an affordable medium for locally owned businesses to reach a large audience and to feel good about what they're doing and be more involved with the charities because it's really hard when you have a skeleton crew to know everything going on. But if it's in the palm of your hands and it's something digital, um, easy to change throughout the year, it's a really powerful tool for everybody, for our users um, to have a reason to try locally owned places if they haven't been there yet, save a little money while doing so. Um, it's a reason to raise money for our charities and get their stories heard, their events heard, um, remind people of how they're constantly you know, doing different things in the community and same with the business owners, uh, invite you in to try their best entree or come in to experience a band that might be in town. Everyone can communicate through a really simple, easy to use app. So, yeah, I think I think it's awesome. I think the concept is awesome, and I said we're we're very excited about uh, the partnership. Um, I love. Uh, we just finished up another one of our brainstorming sessions, which uh, again, you know, for us, those are the people that we want to connect with in the community. Uh, those are the partners that we want to have as an organization who, you know, can really see not only our big vision, but the bigger vision for Berks County as a whole. And, and uh, Heather and the Do It Local app definitely play into that concept. Um, you know, she's all about promoting our local area and, uh, you know, really took a risk personally to go out and start this. So, you know, that's admirable for, uh, for sure. And, uh, you know, again, we're looking forward to a great partnership. Um, you're gonna be out here um, on our opening day, one of our ceremonial first pitches. So we're uh, excited about that as well. And uh, if you do not have the Do It Local app um, right now, Heather, maybe you can tell some of our local viewers how they can get that app and where they go and uh, you know, what they can e expect from it. Absolutely. So you'll want to go to our website first to register. You can pick Big Vision Foundation. So our website is doitlocalfundraising.com. Do you'll select Charity Partners, Berks County, and you'll see Big Vision Foundation. Simply click the red button to set up and register. It's a $25 annual fee, of which 15 goes right to Big Vision Foundation and on the amazing stuff they're doing right here in Berks County. And then you'll download our app. It will walk you through it online and log in and you'll stay logged in and you'll have over 120 deals right at your fingertips. Um, most of them refresh daily so it's super easy to save you know 100 bucks in your first couple of months with the app and continue to grow from there while experiencing some of the best places we have right here in Berks and we're always adding new deals so you know when you buy it today it's going to be different you know next week when we add even more deals to it so it's really easy to save it's really easy to support local businesses and most importantly our local charities like Big Vision Foundation. Absolutely. Well, Heather, thanks for joining me today. Look forward to seeing you out here in uh, about uh, 10 days or so to throw out the first pitch. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if you don't have anything on your schedule for April 7th, come out and see us opening day. We've got uh, 40 teams out here that first weekend, uh, 28 softball teams, 12 baseball teams. I have some uh, dignitaries and community leaders um, like Heather out here to join us on that opening day. And uh, we're going to have a good time and uh, see what we got to offer out here. So, uh, Heather, again, thanks for joining me. Thanks, Dan. It's kind of built on three pillars. Um, and the, uh, the base of that, you know, what we like to call our triangle, um, is really teaching leadership skills and life lessons through sports, which is done through our Berkshire baseball and softball teams. Um, you know, where we really use those youth teams, um, not just to teach the kids how to play, um, you know, primarily baseball and softball, but really to, you know, be able to teach them lessons through that game, through those games um, that will help them throughout their life. Some things with Berkshire that, that I held dear to my heart and that I believed in, and um, anyway, it led to a, to a longer relationship with Berkshire. It was about a little bit more about just the playing aspect for a player. He was playing with players from, from all over the area, um, several counties in fact, 
Um, so he developed the. It, it led into friendships, uh, relationships with players that he didn't normally see, just through their mission statement and, and their beliefs. Um, it had more in mind for the player than just, well, like I said, just playing on the field. It was it was what they could teach or provide the player beyond when they were on the field, what they could provide to them when they were off the field or, or, or future in life. And that's the other part that, that stuck and, and, and why I'm still here. Well, one of the most important things is the setting. Um, it's an absolute beautiful setting, especially the, the, the nights here in uh, late August and now early September with the sunset on field four. And, you know, field one has the lights, and that could turn into a really big-time venue for a possibility of a men's team or a women's team. I would be a completely different person if I didn't play softball, and I know that for a fact. Um, I, I would not be the same person. That The game has literally taught me so much uh, throughout my life, uh, between my coaches, between my dad helping me. Um, I mean, it, it really has brought me a long way. Well, with my years of experience, I learned from coaches, so I want to pass on my, my learning to the, to the girls. And to go out there and, and teach them the it's just amazing like it's so it's so awesome to be able, out there having fun with the girls i didn't have an organization like this near where i grew up that offered all these types of different organized sports and community-based events and stuff like that so when i heard about you guys i, I like i said i i knew from a close friend uh your organization before it became big vision foundation and I thought it was cool what you did, and and um, now that you guys have a complex, it makes it even easier to host these events. And for the most part, I, I love working with kids. I love teaching them the game that I love, as well as just any of the fundamental sports about having fun and and just getting out there and keeping yourself busy. Because sports is a great way of kind of building character, both on and off the field. And I think it's it's a good benefit to have for this community. You know, it, it's my passion, it's my love, and the game has given me so much opportunity and has taught me life lessons that I hold near and dear to me today and helped build and shape and create who I am. And um, so it's, it's truly an honor and a gift to be able to get on the playing field and share, share this game with others and hopefully inspire them on their journey and just hopefully be able to relate and just be a little boost of encouragement and help grow their love for the game. Dan, you are an awesome host. Um, you know, you feel right at home, and just what a beautiful facility. They're, this country is gorgeous out here in Pennsylvania. Um, just the rolling hills and the fields, it's bar none. Just a beautiful, beautiful complex, and, you know, we're blessed to be able to bring the softballers and their families out here. We had 10 states represented here this weekend, and um, we couldn't have been more thankful for just a great place to perform and to be able to get on the field and share our love and passion for the game. And, we're so thankful for Big Vision Foundation and the complex here for opening their, their doors to us and allowing us to come here for two years in a row.